Hey guys, real quick before we start, our blunderbros.com website is now live and what I want to start doing in addition to the YouTube videos I make is I want to make blog posts on the same topic and go into a little bit more detail with more visual examples and things like that. So right now, uh, the same topic of this video, I've also written a blog post on if you want to learn a little bit more uh, in depth about this video. Our website is up, you don't have to sign up or pay for anything, it's free and I'll link it in the description. And uh, by the way, you have one more day to pre-order our sci-fi mech design course if you want to grab that, it'll be in the description. Anyways, let's get started. So basically what we have is this little panel, right? And we have some cylinders union to the panel itself. Now what I'm going to do before I apply these booleans, I'm going to run a loop cut right here and run a loop cut right here just to give some supporting geo. And then I'm going to apply this. So basically, uh, what we have are a bunch of cylinders union to this piece, but you're going to see we have artifacts here and there. Like um, if I turn on face orientation, you can see all the minor artifacts we have, which if you want to be um, good and have good results with your hard surface models, you want to clean these guys up. So cleaning these up, if you've seen my fixing artifacts video, has the same idea. All we need to do is remove the overlapping vertices that are in the realm of the bevel. So if we go into edit mode here, we can basically come in here and observe. Let me turn off the bevel. First issue I see is that, you know, some of these vertices need to be joined together. And that's simple enough. All we do is we turn on auto merge and then we merge these near miss vertices like this. This is one of the simplest things you can do to clean artifacts. But this is not going to solve the issue. If we turn the bevel back on, you're going to see the artifacts. There's no artifacts over here, right? because this is coming in at a very good angle and there's no problem. But the issues come in whenever we have this edge going into the cylinder at a weird angle which is causing overlap with the bevel itself. So if I were to go into wireframe here, you'll see the issue. This edge is running straight through and we're getting overlaps on the, on the bevel basically. And this is a limitation of Blender's automatic Boolean connection points. Uh, you'll see this all the time. Blender's Boolean algorithm, and really any 3D modeling algorithm for um, poly-based modeling, is going to have pretty weak Boolean connection points. You have to get in here and clean these up and fix them manually if you want to have good results. Now the obvious solution to fix this is to drop the bevel, but in this case you'd really have to drop this guy super low to the point where you might as well not even have a bevel. The way you should do this, the proper way, is to run any sort of edge connection perpendicular to the vertex. Now the more tangent you run your boolean connection edges like this, the quicker you're going to get artifact issues. You would never want to run these edges at a tangent or even close to a tangent. You want to run it at a completely normal perpendicular direction. Let me show you now. So this edge you're going to see the reason you know we're getting artifacts not only because we have you know near miss verts. Even if we slid this in, still going to get the same thing, right? That doesn't really matter. It's because this guy is at a very strange angle and the bevel is going to push out and then hit the edge really fast. Watch this, let me show you for a more visual example. So right here, this is no bevel. Watch the bevel, we slowly push it out, right? And then right here, it starts intersecting and we get a bad artifact going on. Now in this case, it wouldn't be an issue if you had a really tiny bevel. If the bevel was like this small, right? Before it starts intersecting, you're fine. You don't have to worry about it. But if you want to have any sort of decent sized bevel, which most people do, you're going to need to run this edge at a perpendicular direction to avoid this happening. So what we're going to do is go in here. We'll turn off the bevel for a second. We're going to take this vertex and then run it at a completely perpendicular direction to the cylinder. And this is just kind of guesswork. You don't have to be like perfectly mathematically correct in terms of which what the perpendicular vertex is. You just kind of have to eye it. So it looks like this one is probably the most perpendicular like that. You can kind of see that's at a more perpendicular direction to this vertex. And now all we have to do is dissolve this edge out. And guess what? The artifact is going to be clean. So we turn this on you're going to see we can have a really massive bevel before we have any issues occurring. And at that point, you, you know, your bevel is going to be way too big. So now let me show you what's happening. Now if we go in here, the connection is here instead of at this angle. So now if we were to push out the bevel, you're going to see the bevel doesn't start intersecting anything. 
it's not going to intersect until we get you know really 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 far out at which point your bevel is just going to be way too big and unrealistic so this is how you need to run your boolean connection points if you want to avoid artifacts and like I said by default blender connects them at weird angles and you have to go in and fix them manually so just as a quick example just to kind of show you how I go about cleaning these all we have to do is go in here and just kind of observe same problem with this one all we need to do is come in here join this up at a more perpendicular direction go back into edge mode control X to dissolve that one out now we're good to go that one's fixed we'll do another one over here perhaps let's find a more extreme example if I even have one looks like most of these are actually okay so you know what I'll just do one of the smaller examples here that's fine so here's another one say the bevel is a bit bigger you're gonna see we're gonna start getting some intersections going on so this one needs to be ran more perpendicular so maybe right here instead join that one up dissolve that one this guy not too bad this one shouldn't cause too much of a problem because it's pretty close to perpendicular but um, it's still not that good so in this case we'll just go in here connect at a more perpendicular direction like this dissolve this one out and now we're good to go we can make a really big bevel before anything happens so that's it that is how all of your incoming boolean connection points especially during like union or difference booleans that is how your edges should be running into those booleans once you apply them that's why your artifacts are hitting so quickly and it's a really easy fix you go in connect them perpendicularly perpendicularly I don't know how you say it and that's how you do it that's how you fix it super easy and um, hopefully it will help you guys out whenever you run into these types of issues so thanks a bunch once again uh, sci-fi mech design releasing in two days link in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video